You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. This is the second in the series. Hebrew has a word for it. And it's another word that's used more of God than of humans. A theological word, which also talks about human beings. Although probably historically its origins were in the human world. And it's another word that's important in the book of Ruth. It describes the quality that Boaz shows in comparison with the other redeemer, Mr. Anonymous, in chapter 4. It's a word like Hesed that has a very, very strong and deep-rooted cultural meaning. And that's one of the things that makes it difficult for us to translate. In Hebrew itself, it's quite simple. The word is Goel. Goel is the participle of the verb Ga'al. Ga'al means to redeem. And participles very often in Hebrew identify the person who does the action. So, a seer is someone who sees, a herder is someone who herds, and so on. A goel is someone who ga'als, who redeems. It's what redeem means that's not quite so straightforward. Oh, in English and in Hebrew too, at the heart of it is to buy back. To buy back a field that's been sold out of the family. Leviticus chapter 25, which allows for just that to happen. But also to buy back a family member who's been sold into slavery. Again, Leviticus chapter 25. But Ga'al is more than just redeeming people or fields that have been sold out of the family. It's also caring for the widows and the orphans looking after the weak and vulnerable in the family. And it's there that the heart of its use for God occurs. Indeed, when Proverbs or elsewhere in the Bible we read, their Redeemer is strong, we have to think twice before we assure whether it's talking about God or whether it's talking about a human Redeemer, a human Goel. And beyond caring for widows and orphans. There was also in ancient Israel at least a responsibility to ensure that the family line continued. And so you have the custom of Leverite marriage which is in some ways related to the concept of the Goel, the Redeemer. We don't know exactly what the relation is because we've frustratingly few texts that talk about it in the Bible. But we know there's a connection. The Book of Ruth strongly shows us that. So, a goel is someone who buys back what's sold, someone who cares for the weak and the vulnerable in the family, and ensures that the family continues. But there's still more. There's also that phrase, redeemer of blood. That refers to the goel's responsibility to track down and take vengeance upon someone who's harm the family, especially someone who's murdered a family member, and the law has failed to deal with it properly. That's not a custom that will translate into our society, but it was part of the Goel's function. You see, all of those functions of the Goel cluster around protecting the family. The Redeemer is the one who protects the family. As I said, it's used more of God than of humans which is really interesting. It's used of Israel being redeemed from Egypt, of individuals being redeemed from death. Death probably there meaning uh, from being near to death, at death's door, as we'd say. It's used of God redeeming Israel from exile. The Redeemer, I haven't said yet, but should have done, is a senior relative. Someone with some standing in the community who has the power to protect, the power to defend, and whose function, job, responsibility is to protect and to defend the family. And that's how God deals with us. And in the Old Testament, Goel, Redeemer, is used of God often where we might have expected father or mother to be used probably because of all the religions in the ancient world that had father gods and mother gods. Israel has a senior relative God. And the Redeemer foreshadows Jesus in all sorts of ways. 
we think of Jesus as only the one who buys back from our slavery to sin but he's also the goel whose responsibility is to protect and care for the family there's that interesting verse in Job which we can't miss when we're talking about the goel Job 19.25 for I know that my Redeemer lives and at the end he will stand upon the earth that needs to be the topic of another podcast because the verse is difficult and the context is even more difficult but one thing is clear even in the middle of Job's lawsuit against God Job knows that Yahweh is his Redeemer God is our relative who protects and defends. God bless.